Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. Welcome back to another episode of Uweebi. So Uweebi stands for You Wanted It, I Bought It, and in today's episode, we're having a look at a bunch of shoes from YesStyle that you guys asked me to review. So I took to Twitter a couple of weeks ago and I said to everyone, look, I think it's about time that I do a YesStyle shoe haul, and everyone left their recommendations, and I got some really, really interesting ones. So I've picked out, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I actually picked out 12 pairs of shoes, but one of them got cancelled because it, they ran out of stock. Uh, Archie, stop, stop. Okay, well, look, look at this. Archie has chosen the first shoe for review. <laughs> he wants us to have a look at this pink one. So, uh, look, let's just jump straight into it. I don't think we need much more of an introduction other than uh, I got all of these for free. YesStyle gives me a $500 budget every month to spend on their website. They're not paying me to make this video, but I do make commissions. So if you decide to buy something and you use the links below, I'll make affiliate money. I don't let that influence how I review these things. I'm always very honest with you guys. If I like the things, if I don't like them, I'll be sure to let you know. Let's have a look at this first shoe that he's, uh, he's destroying the, the laces on. Also, as you're watching this video, I want you to keep an eye out for shoes that you think that I should wear in another video, which is going to be I wore shoes from YesStyle style for a week. Because there's 11 pairs here, I'm gonna try and narrow it down to probably five. So I'll do like a Monday through to Friday wearing shoes. So tell me your top five shoes and then I'll pick the ones that are the most popular and wear those in another video. These ones here, right. Oh, okay, no, we'll look at those next, Archie. But we'll look at them next. This first pair is called the Freesia Lace Up Pointy Toe Chunky Heel Short Boots. And boy, that is a very, very pointy toe. I do kind of like the pointy toe trend, but I feel like that's, that's a little bit too extreme. I would consider it to be like high fashion or, you know, like edgy fashion. I feel like these are very, very attention grabbing. The pink is really, really bright. These shoes on the website are $45, which I think that's a little bit much. They don't feel, well, I mean, they, they feel decently well made, but to be honest, to me, they kind of feel like shoes you would get from H&M. Forever 21, that kind of thing. They don't feel like they're necessarily worth the $45 mark just in the make, but in the style, if you're into this sort of style, they're really, really cool. Uh, it, it, no, yes, that's right, Archie. So as, as Archie's pointing out, there is a, there's a zipper on the back here. So you use that to get into them. You don't have to unlace them every time. And on the inside, it has this really, really nice soft lining. They're really, really comfortable and so soft to wear. The heel is very sturdy. I feel like I can jump around in these and I feel very stable. I don't feel like I'm going to fall over at all. So I really, really like these comfort wise. These would definitely be good shoes for me to wear in the week long wear test because I feel like I could get a lot of wear out of these and I could match these with a lot of different outfits that I have. Now, size wise, I got these in a 42. Now, so you guys aren't confused, I wear an Australian size nine, which is a US size 10, depending on the size chart that you look at, or a European size 41. And again, it depends which store you're shopping at, but I got these in a 42 and they're actually really, really true to size. Sometimes with Asian websites, I find that you can order a size that you think is gonna be the right size and it, it's definitely too small, but these are very, very accurate. They fit very comfortably. So these as a first place to start, if I can get over the fact that they're extremely, extremely pointed, I think these are a definite win. So yay! <laughs> On to the next ones. Uh, Archie is already choosing the next ones. All right, Archie. But she says these ones now. Okay, so these are called the Gimme Laser Cut Lace Up Platform Wedge Shoes. Now, they came with some shoelaces here. Excuse me, excuse me. Yep, so they came with these. So they've also got They've also got those laces there that are already in them and then these as well. And in the pictures on the website, that's what they look like. They have this on them, but the detailing is really, really cute. I love all this white sort of floral detailing around the edges. These are super comfortable. They're very, very light too. Now, I don't know if being light is a good thing or a bad thing. It could be a good thing because they're easy to wear all day, but also I feel like for the size of them, they should probably have a little bit more weight to them. Archie, let go, Archie. Just to prove a point there. Show them how light it is. I mean, that's how light they are. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. On the website, these are $50, and I think that's a lot, again. 
that is a considerable amount for a little pair of shoes like this, but also you don't really find shoes like this in Western stores. This is a very sort of uniquely Asian style, almost like a Lolita kind of style or Harajuku Japanese style. Considering you can't really find these anywhere else, I suppose they really do have the market on this sort of thing. And from my research online, a lot of places that sell shoes that look like this, they're around that price tag. I do think it's a little bit expensive, but if you're in love with the style, then you might be able to justify it. So these definitely in terms of look, they are super, super cute. I do love them a lot. They come in a couple of different colors too from memory. There's, oh wow, there's also purple. There's black, white, and green. You have a lot to choose from on the website with these shoes. I do approve these, but I think they're a little bit expensive, but they are super, super comfortable. Okay, Archie's already moved on. What are we looking at next? Oh, these, okay, right. So we're looking at these next. Oh, you're so bad. Okay, next up are these. These are called the Freesia Lolita Cosplay Bow Bell Block Heel Pumps. These come in a couple of different colors as well. Looks like there's a bluish kind of green, black, cream, and pink. So these, I think these are the cream shade. Yeah, these are the creamy colored ones. They come with a little bow like this, and it looks as though these little bells are here. I guess they just, People will hear you coming from a mile off. Okay, I think you're just supposed to stretch this around the bow. I'm not sure. Is that right? Okay, success. And then the second bow here is supposed to go around this strap. So we'll try to hook that on as well. Look, while, while I'm doing this, these shoes are $40. Now, I feel as though if that previous pair had been $40, they would have been worth it. I think these for $40, these are worth it because again, they are Lolita style shoes. They're uniquely Japanese and you aren't gonna find these if you walk into Forever 21 or Ruby shoes, that's what we have here in Australia. I think these are definitely worth it. The little buckle is actually shaped like a love heart. It does feel a little bit cheap. That's not a very heavy duty buckle, unfortunately. I don't know if that would rust. I don't know how long that would last. The heel itself is super, super comfortable. It's really nice to wear. This is another one I feel I could get away with wearing all day because the height of it, it's not too tall. And also the strap makes it really, really comfortable. So here it is all done up like that. And then here it is without the excess. So that sort of dresses it down a little bit, makes it a little bit less Harajuku, a little bit less cutesy. The inside of the shoes has a really nice floral pattern as well, so that's a nice added detail. It's got some padding in here as well, so that's a little bit of extra cushion for your heel. Archie's in love with this bell. I don't think I'll be able to wear these without him coming after me. <laughs> I can imagine wearing these with a lot of sort of pink skirts, frilly blouses, things like that. I know a lot of people are gonna love these ones. So I have a sneaking suspicion these might make it into the list of ones I should wear for a week. Well. <laughs> With that, let's jump on to the next ones. Archie, which one's next? Which one's next? Go, f go find some. Okay, the, the choice has been made. You probably can't see, but he's, he's picked these. <laughs> so these next shoes are little ankle boots. You know, they're, they're done up for a reason. You don't need to undo them. Okay, I, I actually got these on sale. These were only $15 on the website. I think they were reduced down from maybe $30. $15 was an absolute steal. They came in a bunch of different colors too. I think there was pink and there was white and black and brown, but I had to get these. These are kind of like a bluish green. These are super easy to wear, just throw on with anything, whether it's jeans or a skirt or a dress. They look really, really nice with socks as well. Again, with the height of this heel, it's a super comfortable height. I ordered these in a size 43. They are more like a size 41, a European size 41. So I feel like you may have to go up one or two sizes on here, just check the size chart, but they're very, very comfortable for me in this size 43. I think Chinese shoe sizes are very similar in terms of the numbers. I think it's like size 40, 41, 42, and all that sort of thing in the Chinese shoe chart as well, except it doesn't meet up. So like a 41 in a European shoe chart is like a 43 in a Chinese. Okay, so next up are these. These are so cute. They're kind of similar to the pair two before this, except they don't have all the crazy bows and everything all over them. I feel like all of these are super comfortable. These are $26 and I think these for $26, they do feel like they're worth $26. I've seen plenty of shoes that you can buy in stores that feel about the same quality for about the same price. These 
are some of my favorite style of shoe. I love shoes that have this little strap here. They're so easy to put on, again with socks and stockings. These look super cute. Archie, no, no, we're not, we're not looking at those yet. Come here. Oh, your claws are so sharp. I have to go, we're just gonna take a, a brief interlude because I have to trim Archie's nails. Can you, look, you just wait here. Can I have your foot? Give me, good boy. Oh, whoa, whoa. can I have your foot? Give me your foot, big shake. Time to trim your nails. Ready? Good boy. Wait, wait, I'm not done. There we go, give me your foot. Good boy. Next. No, uh, excuse me, we'll, we'll just file them then. Wait, hold still. Good job. Okay, last one. Give it to me. Yay! Good job! We're all done. <laughs> okay, so next up are these sneakers. I love these so much. These are, out of all the sneakers that you're gonna see today, these are made the best. I can't get over how solid and like well-made the seams are. This fabric around here is really, really soft too. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a felt kind of suede material. The laces, they have, Mm. Yes, yes. The laces are very big, chunky laces. These are very, very soft on the inside as well. I've been wearing these as the only shoes that I've already started wearing because when I pulled them out of the box, I was just like, they're just so glorious and I, I just I had to start wearing them straight away. So these are $40 and I love that the detailing on the side, there's like a pink stripe, there's a little bit of yellow, there's purple, there's blue. They're a pastel dream. I put these on my Instagram. People really, really liked them. That gives me away. I've definitely been wearing them. I shouldn't have them on the table. Don't tell Daniel. Actually, don't don't tell Samuel. He's, yeah, don't tell either of them. I pitched these up in a size 40 and the size 40 fits me perfectly well. So that is my main criticism with Yes Style and their shoes. It's just, it's so difficult to pick the right size. You just really either have to wing it or you have to take your measurements. So if I click on the size information here, it actually says size information for the specific products. And it says 40, which is the largest one, is for a foot length of 24.5 to 25 centimeters. So I measured my foot and I was like, yeah, I think I can squeeze into those. And they're quite comfortable. So for all of the shoes, just check that little section under the details tab and make sure that the measurements fit. Don't just rely on the, the number or the size. <laughs> so yeah, these, these are so comfy. I love the retro look. They're pastel, they're really well made. These are probably my winners of the day as far as sneakers go. But I'll show you the other sneakers. Okay, so these next ones were $30. These are more retro looking sneakers. $30 for these, I think that's definitely worth it. These don't feel as well made as the ones that I just showed you, but style-wise, absolutely incredible. They are so beautiful. I love this retro look. They do remind me of like some sneakers from the 90s, maybe from Nike or Puma. These, the sizing is not good at all. I got these in the largest size possible and these are tiny. These are literally teeny, 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 tiny little shoes. Make sure that you check the measurements. So this one says size 40. It's for 24.5 to 25 millimeter feet but look that's exactly what the previous sneakers said and I did get these in a size 40 and the, the problem with these is that they're very narrow like it says width of the foot 95 to 100 centim uh, yeah 90 what 95 to 100 millimeters width uh, it's definitely more on the 95 end my foot the main problem is my foot is too wide the length is okay but it's it's just my feet are way too wide to fit into these i can squeeze into them it's just not comfortable so these you just have to be kind of careful with these shoes again these are absolutely stunning and i do love the way they look they're so beautiful Up. No, excuse me it's like a claw machine can you can you drop it drop the prize you're going with it Okay, this next pair is super cute. So, so many people requested these. From the top of them to the bottom of them, they're really cute. Even the base of it is covered in the love hearts. But the front, you can see that there's clouds here. These are $27 and they do feel like they're $27. They feel kind of cheap. These are nowhere near as well made as those other two that I just showed you. They're very, very light. They feel probably not gonna last that long. I kind of feel like these are the sort of shoes where the, the rubber will eventually start to peel away. They just don't feel that well made. These are a different brand. So all of these shoes, they're all different brands, even though YesStyle is selling them, they're all uniquely branded. 
So yeah, they didn't do such a good job quality wise, but the design, they're adorable. They're very, very unique. You're not really gonna find sneakers like this in many places. I can definitely recommend them in terms of looks. I also picked these up in a size 40 and they are a little bit narrow like the others. They're quite comfortable on the inside and I feel like I could get away with running around in these. They don't seem like they'd be slipping anytime soon. They do seem to have a lot of grip on the bottom. I can imagine a lot of people asking me to wear these in the week long wear test for sure. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that'll love this design. So uh, if you want me to add these to the next video, please let me know because I think I can imagine some very, very cute outfits for these. Okay, next up are some of the weirdest and craziest shoes that I have ever seen. I could not resist them. A lot of people linked me these. They're very, very expensive. These are $94 and here they are. Yes, those are indeed built-in socks. You probably should still wear your own socks because there is no way to remove this. This is built into them and when you wear them, this is the strangest thing ever. They are so comfortable. These shoes actually feel like a warm hug. It's very, very strange. See how the sock is kind of like bunching up like that? It's almost like a vacuum. Like when you put your foot in, it like sucks your foot into the shoe. And because it's made of plastic, but then it's also got the fabric on the inside and this underneath part here, I don't know if you can tell from that, but this is squishy. And when you walk, the whole thing, it's like a moon boot. Like it's really, really squishy when you walk. These are the most unusual shoes I've ever seen. They come in red and black. I picked the red because I thought the black was a little bit too simple. What are you, what are you? Do you not like them? My main concern is the bottom. There's no grip at all. So don't go walking anywhere that's wet or icy or slippery because you're just gonna, you're gonna go flying. <laughs> I definitely, th these are absolutely gonna end up in the week long video, I know it. People are gonna love them and people are gonna hate them, but honestly, I kind of dig them. When I saw them on the website, I was like, those are so weird, like cl clear shoes with built-in socks. Where else are you gonna find something like that? Archie, relax. He actually hates them. <laughs> these next shoes are definitely a knockoff. Ow, 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 what are you doing? What, don't, don't you like it? You don't like the shoe? More shoes he doesn't like. These are a knockoff. I think it may be of YSL or something. There is actually a very famous brand that made these original shoes and they're thousands and thousands of dollars. I was very happy when I spotted these. My main concern with these is the heel is like a needle. It is so, so thin. I feel like it would be so easy to fall over and hurt yourself wearing these. So if you're not a confident high heel wearer, be cautious. These do come in a huge range of colors. I picked the pink, obviously, but there was silver and blue and black and white and uh, no green. These are, again, quite narrow, so they're a little bit painful for me. My feet do fit into them, but it is quite painful. So I don't see myself wearing these for extended periods of time. These are definitely the sort of shoes that I would wear to get to the car, get out of the car, go to the restaurant, and then go home. I wouldn't be walking around for long periods of time or going to a party in these. I would just be going to a restaurant wearing these. They're really pretty. I think they're really unique, this design. I can't credit Yes Style or Trell because these are called Trell, plain pointy stilettos. I can't credit Trell for this design, they've ripped it off. If you know the actual brand that came out with this design, please let me know down below. But uh, these are $32, 110% worth it. I definitely think $32 is worth it for these awesome shoes. The design is just so pretty. Do, do you like it? What do you, what do you think? And that brings us to our last pair of shoes for the day, which are these. Yes, these are indeed reversible sequin shoes. So as you can see, depending on what angle that you're looking at it, I mean, when I'm looking at this, it looks like it's blue, but on the camera, as I'm looking at it, I think it kind of looks orange, but as I peel this back, it reveals that it's a dark blue underneath. And then when you push it forward, it shifts between blue and green and orange and red. Do you think it's magical, Archie? Look. Look. These have a really, really cool heel. The heel is actually shaped like a flower. Now these are super expensive. These are $80. So just like that crazy sock boot thing, these are the two most expensive pairs that I picked up. And like I said at the start, I didn't have to pay for these. So I do think if I was spending my own money, $80, I would be very hesitant. At the same time, these are really well made. These feel incredibly good. They don't have very good grip on the bottom though. So that is a bit of a downside, but the inside of them, 
there's this really, really incredibly soft fabric on the inside and these are a dream to wear. They are so, so comfortable. I could wear these for hours and hours on end. I love the look of them. They're really unique. So there's five different color variations. So there's green, gold, silver, white, and black. So I think that the black goes to white, the white goes to gold, the silver goes to black, gold, which I think this is considered the gold, goes to blue, and then there's a green that goes to blue. So there's really interesting and unique color combinations. These are super, super cool shoes. I love the heel. The heel is one of my favorite parts. Like I, I love reversible sequins, but honestly the clear heel being in the shape of a flower is just really, really unique and I really love it. So I feel like these are some of my absolute favorites. So that's it guys. Let me know below which shoes that you think I should wear as part of the I wore shoes from Yes Style for a week. I'll definitely be getting a lot of wear out of all of these shoes, but which ones do you want me to film? And what sort of outfits do you want me to wear with them? Let me know below. Tell me the shoes that you want me to wear and then also suggest an outfit. So maybe just pick like, well, I mean, you can go through and write outfits for everything if you want, but maybe just pick one if you want to be like, I think you should wear the iridescent shoes with iridescent clothes and look like you're a rave stick. <laughs> Say whatever you want. So I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Tell me if there's any shoes that you didn't like. Tell me if you've ever bought any shoes from YesStyle or if there's any other shoes that you want me to review from YesStyle in the future. Bless you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter because that's where I often ask people, you know, what things do you want me to review from certain websites? So my Twitter is prettypastelpls and I'm also on Instagram, prettypastelplease. Archie's on Instagram, it's Archie Eclectus. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, give this video a like. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.